Hey guys, today we are going to look at determining slope from linear equations. We're going to answer the question, how do I determine the slope from a linear equation in various forms? So the easiest form of a linear equation to determine the slope from is slope intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b. So to get an equation in this form, we will solve for y, and then the coefficient of x, or m, is the slope. So all we're going to be doing on these equations is solving for y, and then once we have it in that form, we will be able to easily determine the slope. So on number one, I want to get y by itself. All that's happening to y is it's being multiplied by three. So I'm going to do the opposite of that, which is divide by three. And whatever you do to one part of the equation, you have to do to the rest. So I'm going to divide everything by three. And then I get y equals two x plus five. And then the slope is the number in front of x, so the slope is 2. All right, on number 2, the y is just negative. You could fit, think of it as an invisible negative 1 coefficient. So all I have to do is do the opposite of multiplying by a negative 1, which is dividing everything by a negative 1. And I get y equals negative 4x divided by negative 1 is positive 4x, and 7 divided by negative 1 is negative 7. Now it's in slope-intercept form, and I can easily determine the slope. It would be 4, since that's the coefficient of x. All right, on number 3, I have a fraction coefficient. y is being multiplied by 2 fifths, so I need to think of this as dividing by 2 fifths. And dividing by a fraction is the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal. So I'm going to multiply everything in this equation by 5 halves. So now the coefficient of y is 1, or you could just think of it as y by itself. And then 5 halves times 2x is 5x. And then 5 halves times negative 12 would be negative 60 over 2, and negative 60 over 2 simplifies to negative 30. So now it's in slope-intercept form, and the slope is 5, since that's the coefficient of x. All right, let's look at number 4. So this is point-slope form of an equation, which we will learn about later on in this unit. And I want to get y by itself here, but if I add 3 right now, I cannot combine it with the other constant since that constant is inside the parentheses. So my first step here to get y by itself is going to be to simplify this side by distributing. So y minus 3 is going to stay the same, and then 2 times x is 2x, 2 times 1 is 2. And now I can get y by itself because this constant has somewhere to go. So I'm going to do the opposite of plus or minus 3, which is plus 3. And I'm going to combine it with the constant on the other side. And I get y equals 2x plus 5. And then the coefficient of x is the slope. So that means the slope is 2. Okay, on number 5... I have two things happening to y. The first thing is y is being multiplied by 4. And then the second thing is it is adding 2 to it. So I'm going to undo these things that are happening to y in reverse order to get y isolated. So the opposite of plus 2 is minus 2. And then the opposite of times 4 is divide by 4. So to get y by itself, first thing I'm going to do is subtract 2. And I get 4y equals 5x minus 5. And then my last step to get y by itself is remove that times 4 by dividing everything by 4. And now y is by itself. And this just simplifies to 5 fourths x minus 5 fourths. And the slope is the coefficient of x, so the slope is 5 fourths. All right, on number 6, I want to get y by itself. So similar to the last problem, I'm going to undo the addition and then undo the multiplication. But I also need to simplify the left side of the equation here so that whatever I'm adding has something to combine with. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's simplify 
by distributing and I get 3x minus 3 equals negative y plus 2x. All right, now I'm gonna start getting y by itself, so I'm gonna undo the addition here by doing the opposite, which is subtraction, and I'm gonna subtract it with the x on the other side. 3x minus 2x is x, and then I'm gonna bring down the minus three, and then it equals negative y. So now I just need to get this invisible negative one coefficient away from the y, so I'm gonna divide everything by a negative one. It's just gonna change the sign of everything. So that becomes negative x minus three equals y. So this is slope intercept form, but if you wanna write it with the y on the left like we're used to seeing it, you can. It would be y equals negative x minus three. So there's the equation in slope intercept form, and then the slope, the invisible coefficient of x is negative one. Okay, number seven, trying to get y by itself. Let's think about what's happening to five. It's being multiplied by a negative five. And then it also has this positive x attached to it. I know that they are attached by that subtraction, but that negative sign goes with the five y. This x is positive. And I want to undo that in reverse order. So my first step is going to be subtract x, and then my second step will be to divide by a negative five. So let's subtract x. And I get negative 5y equals, and then 20 minus x does not simplify any further because those are not like terms. I cannot combine them. So I'm going to write it as negative x plus 20, just because in slope intercept form it's a little more proper to put the x first. And then my last step is to divide everything by negative 5. So I get y equals negative x over negative five. That would be like a negative one over negative five. So that simplifies to a positive one fifth x. And then 20 divided by negative five is negative four. And then the slope is the coefficient of x. So the slope is one fifth. All right, number eight, same steps as the last one. I want to undo the um, x that's attached to it, and then I will divide to get rid of that coefficient. So first thing I'm gonna do is subtract 3x, and I get 6y equals, I'm gonna put the x term first, negative 3x, and that nine is positive. And then we're gonna divide everything by a six, and now y is finally by itself, negative three over six simplifies to negative one half, and then nine over six simplifies to three halves. So the slope of this equation is negative one half. All right, last one. I need to undo this minus three here, and then I'll worry about the coefficient of y. So my first step is going to be to add three to both sides, and I get x plus three equals negative one half y. So now I need to remove this coefficient. That is negative one half times y, so I would need to divide by negative one half. Dividing by a fraction is the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal. So I'm gonna multiply everything by a negative two over one, which is just a negative two. And then I get negative two x minus six equals negative one half times negative two simplifies out, so I have y. And now I'm just gonna write it in the order that we're used to seeing it in, y equals negative two x minus six, which means the slope is negative two. 